Hello! So currently filming in a different location this week as I'm house sitting for my bro. And although I had a pretty busy day, it was not busier than the internet because this morning I woke up to Britney Spears nudes. Now if this was 2001 juice box, I'd be freaking out right now. Dude! I love Britney Spears! Dude, Britney dropped nudes! Hit me baby one more time! Now in 2022, I'm a bit more sophisticated. Nice. But of course, my opinion doesn't really matter when you have the internet collectively losing their sh over this topic. As always on the internet, we got two sides. One group of people thinks that Britney Spears is off her rocker, and it's moments like this is the reasons why she had a conservatorship. That second group of people think that Britney Spears is a grown ass woman and she can do whatever the hell she wants. Now me personally, I don't give a sh The only thing I care about when it comes to Britney Spears is if she's making new music. But just because that's my opinion doesn't mean that I don't understand where both sides are coming from. When it comes to the group of people that think Britney Spears needs some help, I can see their perspective because of how the photos were posted. I no longer have Instagram, so I can't confirm the official timestamps for when all of these photos got released, but it does seem like she kind of just dumped all of this out at once. Usually when celebs post these types of photos, they're often glamorized, professionally done, and most of the time are done for a cause or a press release. Now when it comes to Britney, all of these photos do kind of seem like they were taken on a cell phone, you even have emojis covering her naughty bits, and on top of that, all of these photos seem pretty similar. So I kind of think that's why group one is concerned, because it feels like these just kind of came out of nowhere and they're not really pointing to anything. It is also very possible that those people in that group do think that this is a cry for help because they've experienced it before on other social medias. I can tell you from personal experience that I have seen some random stuff like this when I used to have a Facebook back in the day, which kind of just made me go like, oh, okay. Now let's jump over to the other hand. I read an article, that's a lie, I skimmed an article, which talked about Britney Spears more than likely posting these types of photos because she's trying to regain her youth that she lost for being controlled for so long. I do think it's kind of funny that posting nudes is apparently how you would regain your youth, but I totally understand where the article was going with that. And to be honest, that is very believable. I mean, just look at all the people that grew up with very strict parents that ended up rebelling against them because they couldn't do the things they wanted to do when they were younger. They often end up doing things they know their parents will hate just to gain some type of control. And when you look at it from that perspective, I could easily see Britney Spears doing that. Again, I don't keep up with everything that goes on with Britney Spears, but I think she was under that conservatorship for like over 10 years. Just imagine being controlled for 10 years. You'd probably want to rebel a little bit yourself too. To be honest, it doesn't matter what side you're on because at the end of the day, Britney Spears is a 40 year old woman. She has millions of dollars and we shouldn't give a f about what she does on the internet. So if Britney wants to post low quality nudes on Instagram, she should have that right until the Supreme Court takes it away. But if you still are one of those people that thinks posting nudes is a cry for help, I just want to bring to your attention that Hillary Duff, the one child star that everybody says didn't go crazy, recently did a nude photo shoot for Women's Health. She's looking fire, by the way. So how about we all just leave Britney alone? That's gonna be it for me. If you guys wanna see more of these random thought pieces that have to do with spicy topics, let me know in that comment section down below. But as always, I'm your host, Juicebox. Remember to wake up in the morning and ask yourself something. Buy my daily dose of juice. See you guys next time.